I'm Dr. Shivendu Mandal, pediatric cardiologist at BM Bella Heart Research Center. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit of a very rare condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome. You might have heard, but this is not a common thing. And usually when the patient is affected in the family or a family come across with a child who is born with this condition, people start worrying and look for more information. So I'm going to tell you about this condition. As I said, it is a very rare condition where normally a heart has got four chambers, the right heart, which is right atrium and right ventricle, and the left heart, which is left atrium and left ventricle. So this child during development as a fetus, somehow we don't know the cause. The left side of the heart is not developed at all. That is why the term called hypoplastic left heart. So it is a very difficult for survival because the main pumping chamber of the heart is absent. So what happens, the blue blood which is coming from the whole body into the heart, it mixes from the left heart and the right heart, it mixes and goes to the lungs and supplies to the whole body through a special structure called PDA. Now, here the duct is acting as a survival. Now, in hypoplastic left heart syndrome, previously most of the children used to die, either undiagnosed or even if diagnosed, there was no major surgeries. But there is currently surgical management of these children, which is a very difficult surgery and it carries a very high risk. I would say about 20% mortality, even with the good centers, where you try to separate the connection. The ventricle, which is only there, that is the right ventricle, left ventricle is absent, as I said, that is made as a main chamber. And there is a complex surgery where the blood is diverted to the lungs stage wise. So, first stage of the operation goes by a very big author, so that is called Norwood Stage 1 surgery, which is a very difficult and also high risk surgery and then the further stages about six months of age where you do a bidirectional glen shunt and the finally a fontan operation at about six years so whole idea is to make the surviving ventricle that is the right ventricle as the main chamber and separate the blood circulation from the blue blood sent directly to the lungs and the pure blood coming to the heart to the whole body now if a patient survives all these stages Average lifespan remains about 50 to 60 years. So far, the data says so, but more study is needed to know more information about the longevity. But the quality of life remains very good as long as it survives.